Back at the book segment tonight, the pen heads of the week. Here now with his selection, the always enthusiastic Bernard <laughs> McGurk. So McGurk, I understand the yeah. bossy <laughs> ad, we talked about it yesterday on The Factor, caught your attention. Roll the tape. Girls are less interested in leadership than boys. And that's because they worry about being called bossy. We need to tell them it's okay to be ambitious. We need to help them lean in. Words matter. Let's just ban the word bossy. So who's the pinhead out of that crew? Well, the pinhead is uh, is actually Sheryl Sandberg. That's and, the you know, author who is very, she was the most sincere of all of that. She started the whole Ban right. Bossy campaign. She's the CEO of uh, Facebook. Yeah. And uh, far be it from me, uh, you know, a, a bald-headed, knuckle-dragging uh, goon to pass judgment on a bunch of women who feel offended by a certain word. But I have an 18-year-old daughter who I love. I want her to grow up in a world that where men and women are equal. But the reason why this lady is a pinhead is because I recall that when there was a decisive and assertive women, a woman who was running for president, and she was called a C-word by a couple of prominent men. This woman stayed silent. Sarah Palin was the one, was the victim, was Bill Maher and a couple of other guys. She said nothing. Words do matter. And, and I, I heard nothing. Plus, she recruited Beyonce in this video. Beyonce, who's married to Jay-Z, who uses the words bitches and hoes in his songs, like you use the word folks here every night, just with reckless abandon. There's a lot, there's a lot of deficit to this problem. But I think that there is is a, and I said this last night, I think that uh, if you are a powerful woman, an aggressive woman, that you are demeaned sometimes. And I think the message is okay, but you don't ban words. No, you right? don't. You, but you ban b b the B word and the H word, you certainly do. Yeah, I, I mean, mean in, in polite society, but these rappers, they don't care. But that's where the courage part comes in. That's what you should take on, because it's all over right. the FM radio airwave. Trust they, me when I tell you. Yeah, I mean, uh, the morning guys are always doing that, and you should, you know, get away from uh, bossy and to these other precincts. You're absolutely right about that. Now, my pin out of the week is Lady Gaga. Roll it. All right, now Lady Gaga, here is her 2012 Foundation's federal tax report. Ready? Two million taken in, five thousand dollars donated. Wow. Two million taken in, most of that from Lady Gaga herself. Yes. Right? She gave 1.2 million to her foundation. Five thousand. All right? Where'd the money go? Three hundred thousand strategic consulting. Fifty thousand social media. Eight hundred thousand other. Other. That means she didn't tell us where it went. And $400,000 on legal fees. Now, what this is, ladies and gentlemen, because I have uh, my foundation. All right, we're all below Riley.com. Uh, profits go to me. That goes right into the foundation. And we give away millions of dollars. And we give away, all, we have very little overhead for our foundation. What this is is a beard. Okay, it allows Lady Gaga to travel, to do projects, to do promotions under this banner. Hire attorneys hire PR people. It's a ruse. It's wrong. And Lady Gaga, you shouldn't be doing this. All right. If you have a foundation, it's $2 million. At least 80% of that should go to charity. You agree? I do agree. But I mean, I think her intentions are good, given the fact that she donated $1.2 million of her own money. She's got to manage it. She's if it's her ma name, yes, yes. she's got to manage it. $5,000 in 2012 in a donation for your foundation? Bull. I agree. Bull. You're right. You're right on the money. What's your favorite Lady Gaga song? I, I, they all sound the same to me. You love Lady Gaga. Come on, man. You think so? You're into the, yeah. the meat dress. You think so? Yes, yeah. no doubt about it. I heard, okay. heard you talking about it before. McGurk is wrong again. <laughs> <laughs> I like Sade. There you go. Sade. All right. Yeah. You say you're mocking me already. Yeah. It's good music. And right, the Beach Boys and the Hermits Hermits. All music is good. It's all good, yes. I like songs, melodies. That's it's what I like. got to broaden your horizons just a little. Right. No hose in there. <laughs>